James and Ellis, who are going to talk about some of their stuff that they're doing. I have no idea what it is, but... Um, yeah, it's kind of slightly different to just doing solo. Yep. It's all about, well, working with schools, hopefully. And obviously the data that you believe there are going to be great for us to, to have a look into. <laughs> yeah, while Ellis is setting up, I'll, I'll set this in a little bit. Um, so the reason we ask these guys is because they're working mainly in schools. Yeah, yeah. that's a really interesting sector that we'd like to, to look at. Yeah, we, I approached uh, a number of head teachers about uh, the project that LSL explained because it's, it's very unique. And we, we're the solar installation side and, uh, and, and we've got an energy company this side. And, and where uh, the meeting with James came about was actually a head teacher being so proactive about it saying, in fact, you need to move up to this level and then this level and then we'll venture up here. So, Sorry. It might be better on him. Who's talking? <laughs> Who, who's doing the talking? I'm not sure. We'll switch. God. It's, 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 just put it on your back. The element, the element of funding is not an issue in this, in this scenario. It's, uh, yeah. well, I'll let Ellen go. Yeah, so CNG have been... Uh, a shipper of commercial gas for the last 23 years and recently we've decided to venture into the renewable sector purely for I've got a huge passion for the environment and I don't think we can carry on what we're doing at this rate if we want to look after the future generations to come and something to basically sum that up is where does it stem from and for us it's education we understand that not just the future of energy but the future of every industry comes down to education and we know that schools are pushed and it's hard enough for them with all the resources and one thing that schools are really after is cost stabilization so looking after those budgets ensuring that the money that they're spending that it's covered and they don't have to worry about it so what we're trying to do with this project is it's effectively a goodwill project we are wanting to work with the community not like to make leads better to start with and then why not venture nationally and help out other schools that that need it and they might not necessarily have the network of people or the resources and the knowledge to be able to do so themselves so that's why I'd like to think that the collaboration between CNG and uh, James from Green Yorkshire Solar could really start to help so we've got a bit of a proposition for schools um, and I'd just like to start by saying, well, this is it's not for profit for CNG. We've got to a stage now where we've got our gas business in it, and it's working really well. We just want to kind of give back to the community. And people go, well, why would you want to do that? And it's like, well, why not? People have helped us get to this stage over the last 23 years, so why not give something back? So really, what the proposal is, what we're looking at is... Um, for the school to benefit is what we want to do is install 30 kilowatt solar PV systems on schools uh, free of charge, fully delivered by the guys from Green Yorkshire Solar. Um, alongside our Key Stage 2 Bright Sparks, which is an education program which I've just got in there. So it's once again helping schools, giving them that education about the future of energy. It's new for me, it's new for you guys, although people have been using wind for for centuries, uh, to, for windmills to grind the grains and things like that. As an industry in, industry in general, it's relatively new. And we also want uh, a commitment for a partnership and an opportunity for growth for these schools. We don't just want to put this on their school and say, there you go, do what you want with it. We want to kind of help combat other areas. So they might have poor insulation or they might want to look at the heating or they want, might want to look at their energy efficiency in general with a building management system or an energy management system. Whatever they need, we want to be able to access our knowledge and network of people to be able to put them in the right direction. So what it looks like for the school for the first six years effectively is we take the FIT payment, the export tariff, the gas and power contracts that even though it says six years, what we'd want to do is review them every 12 to 24 months to allow us to be able to sit as close as we possibly can to the market rates of what we're p paying effectively, um, which allows that transparency, which is kind of what we're all about. And that will occur for the six years until the payback of the, the solar's been done. And obviously the reduced carbon emissions right from the start. And then following after that six years is they'll get the fit payment. So we won't give them that on a yearly basis. What we decide to do is just give them that in a lump sum. Um, we can take the fit payment for the rest of the period. But if we give them that in a lump sum, then they can use that money to invest it into other areas. We want them to invest it down the renewable route. Um, they've already got solar, so what else could they possibly do? Could they look at their energy efficiency in that point of view? Or uh, could they look at other areas? Or they might have other resources that they, they really need and renewables isn't really on their market. As much as we try to guide them down that route, we'd allow them to do what they want. Um, they've got the flexibility to switch their gas and power contracts. 
but we'd hope that they'd want to be working with us. We'd want a continual partnership to help improvement, like I've already mentioned. And uh, they're getting their free generator electricity for 18 years minimum, if the panels have got a warranty for 25 years. But you're saying that some of the panels now are up to uh, still generating after 40 years. So, yeah. Yeah, so I guess that's really the proposal. You've already seen all the benefits that they get. It's a cleaner, greener future. They get a cost stabilisation, which is really what we're trying to do. We're trying to just help the schools. And then finally, if James wants to talk about a few of his installations. So yeah, I mean, we're sort of speaking to the convert. I think the, 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 the big thing for me on this is that this is actually lots and lots of PPA uh, offers and things that throughout the years. This one's not got a commercial impact to it. The electricity they're going to use anyway, um, and, and they're going to pay less for it. You know, CNG are committed to keeping that lower, uh, 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 as much close to the to the price that they're buying it in for as, as possible, because they're not looking to make a return on it. So first of all, there's that side that they're making a few savings. Then they've got the renewable side, that, and, and that money that they're spending anyway is paying off. Then, then it, it, so it sort of becomes a bit of a no-brainer for the school. I've been around and met with the head teachers, met with government, met with business managers, um, and it's the second biggest cost. You know, they've got the staff and then they've got the energy because they're all in inefficient buildings. They're all, you know, you've got, you walk into someone that's got a heating system that's gas fed, but they've all got an electric heater somewhere in the office because it's because it's, it's not working. So th this is a solution that isn't about just putting it on the roof. It's about taking the feeding tank, but then, and the reason we came up with taking the feeding tank was that so we could give them it back. Because if they just because it's so small, that small amount of money that they're going to make every year is probably just going to get lost in the budget. Whereas if we take it and then give it back in a big old sum to say, right, well, the next thing you need is your windows are a, a single pane and, and, and we're going to do that, or it's the insulation, or it's the boiler that needs changing, you know, or the radiators, or whatever it might be. So it, it's about a long term commitment to the schools, not just a short term. And I think CNG, you only have to go and look at the website to see how much money they've given to charity over the last few years. Yeah. It's, it's a reformation of that giving in a much more controlled and effective way so that people can see it. And, and when we sit, ask that in many of these sort of forums, the big question is, well, how is it going to be funded? Well, the answer's already there. What we need is the schools and the local authorities to say, give us the opportunity to, to, to look at those contracts. And if it is competitive, right, well, let's, let's make it work and then let's put some renewables into the building. And also I guess it links up back to the education point of view as well because we've all seen solar and a lot of the kids have seen solar and they understand that yeah the sun shines down onto it and it makes us electricity, that's great. I've just come back from doing a project in Kenya on behalf of CNG where we're working with a school there to try and link schools over in the UK to link schools in Kenya and we have built a, a new shower block for the boys and the girls and, the, um, and then powering it by solar thermal because these kids are waking up at 4am getting a cold bucket of water and pouring it over their heads and although I say Africa it is cold it was raining when I went up to the school it's up in the mountains so what we're trying to do is link to show the kids over here how the future of renewables can have a direct impact on kids lives and how much of a difference it can really really make and me just going over there and seeing that makes me want to really push this project even more and see really, I guess, where we can go in the future with, with solar.